Good morning. So back to uh, Snippy Pixie development. Uh, yesterday we were playing around with um, the uh, GUI uh, for the new version, um, trying out a few things. Uh, let's continue doing that. Um, I'm just kind of doing it all a bit ad hoc, don't really have a plan. Um, but I'm trying to kind of feel my way into a UI that I like and it's hopefully efficient and fast. So um, what have we got so far? Let's bring up the terminal. Do a Wales dev and see what we've got. So this is the basics so far. Um, very early days. Um, we have, this is a welcome screen. Um, and we just have a button with uh, saying, you know, you need to add your first snippet basically. Um, although I haven't actually activated that. That's just kind of all placeholder stuff at the moment. So let's get going with that. Um, so this is the um, icon button component that I created on my last session. Um, and one thing about it at the moment is it doesn't have um, any way to control that scale. So I probably need to change that. Um, so let's do that as an export. Um, not super keen on scale as a word, but for the moment, it'll do. So we'll do uh, export scale equals, we'll do 10 as the default. Then down here, we'll just set that as the property. It's a named property, which should be good. Let's do that. So hopefully that will just work. So if I save that and refresh, it's the same. So if I were to change that default to something like five, let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Okay. But we want a default of 10 because we... There we go. We're using that as a big button. Um, now we need to do something about uh, using it. Um, so at the moment, we've got no kind of click hand or anything like that. Um, so we're going to need to do something about that. Um, so we want to just, we don't actually want to do we don't want to handle the click in the button. Um, so we should be able to just do, do something like that. And that should, I think, make sure that it just bubbles up the, uh, the click. Um, so we can try that now. Um, let's go to the actual welcome component. Um, let's try a couple of things. So first of all, let's try changing the scale. Make sure this component works. There we go. If I were to do just one, what would it do? Teeny, teeny tiny. Okay, but we don't need scale, so we we're happy with the default. Um, now we want to do something with the click. Uh, let's just test, let's make sure that this works. So let's just do a simple um, 
let's just have Let's just make sure this works. So we'll just do something like, oh, I don't even know if we can do alerts and things. Can we do alerts in Wales? Hmm, bet we can't. Well, let's try. Let's do, A function. We'll just call it um, add add snippet and I'll do that. Do an alert. Okay. We'll see if that works. Um, so what we'll do is on the icon button. I'll do on click. So why is it not doing our oh, course as a component? No, it's fine. Um, and snippet. Let's move that as to there so I can get out of the way. There we go. I wonder why that's gone down to scale there. Add step, we'll find out in a minute. All right, add step handler. Okay, so in theory, that will work. Let's give it a click. There we go. Woohoo. Cool. Okay. So, let's do some things here. So, on that icon button, I want to make sure that the cursor is a hit target. It's saying, hey, uh, so is it? No, where's which one am I looking for? Is it finger? That's not right, is it? Because that's what I've got. Oh, no, it's right. Okay. It is a finger there. So I'm do that. That's good. Okay. Um, I might end up taking that stuff global because I'm already using it here as well. Let's do that. Yeah. So we're starting to get a few items in here. So let's put some naming in. So let's put uh, 
some sections to make sure we we know what we're doing here. Oops. Now, yeah. I think I'll just call that. So, yeah, that'll do. Well, I wonder if I should do so I'm trying to think of a naming scheme here try and keep things consistent um, so I will See, these kind of things make sense. So... You say that is a... a warning notice. A notice... of class warning. A button. So I could do in here, I could actually instead do dimmed. Okay, what happened there? Oh, it didn't do what I wanted it to do there. Oh well. Must have hit the wrong button somehow. So icon class dimmed. Is that that's the only place we've done? Let's just check. Dimmed, dimmed, dimmed.
I did do one. That's interesting. But not the other. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you're going to break that, then I will break it even more. Don't do that. Do that. Thank you. Okay. Right. So in theory, that hasn't changed anything. Let's say that this stuff though here is layout and we'll have a little section for layout stuff where we're throwing things around. Okay. So that's okay. Nothing changed. All right. So at the moment we've got this. Um, I might change that. Okay, let's uh, let's do something with this button then. So instead of an alert, we need to go someplace. Oh, should I? Should maybe commit this for the moment. Oh, I've got unversioned files. What are they? Oh, okay. Hmm. Now, I think I think they should not be committed. Mind you, I'm not sure that should be either. In general, assets should but I'm not sure about the vendor stuff. Is that regenerated on? Okay, what have we got? So, no fonts, no images. Components are all there. Right, Wales JS. Don't think. Okay. 
Do I commit them or not? Maybe. They do contribute to the final bundle. Wouldn't really harm, I think. So what's this vendor thing then? Ah, okay. That's the auto-generated CSS. Change name. Must be, um, split out stuff. Whereas that's the actual compiled CSS. I don't know what the vendor stuff is though. I think I think while I don't want to commit the binary I think maybe for the moment I will commit this stuff. You can always take it out later. If it churns a lot, Well, it doesn't feel quite right, though. Maybe I'll not take that.
I would say, in fact, anything in here. Probably. Should not be committed. So what I'm going to do, so we've got all this stuff which is built by whales. Including the dist assets. I'm not editing any of these at all. The only things I'm editing are in assets or explicitly adding and then my components and everything else in source. This whale stuff Again, I think it's all that's auto generated. So I shouldn't have that in Git. So <clears throat> I'm going to remove it. This stuff is OK. And the rest is all the ghost stuff and so on. And Wells Dev has added a bunch of stuff here. Let's do this. Let's not commit that. All that. All that. Oh, but I 
Okay. Oh, before I do that, just remembered. This can use the centered class now. And this can go. In fact, all of that can go. And then in the icon button, again, Centered content, so I can take out that and just say cursor there. Here we've got Tim there, so it's fine. I've got a welcome. Okay. And what's this? Oh, that's the app. Okay. That's the name, which I'll adjust later as well. Just clearing out all these things I've got open. Okay. Right, so we're going to commit tap, blah, blah, blah. Nothing in dist. In fact, let's... Um, Let's get off the app. And then Roll back the dist stuff there. And then I'm going to run a little experiment in a minute. So what I'll do... I think... This might, might cause problems, but what I want to do is I want to, actually I'll just delete it. That's ignored. Nothing committed in here yet. That's all new. So, what I'm going to do is 
values. I am not going to commit that. Not that, not that, not that. I'm trying to basically clean out the dist and then I'm going to ignore it. So we have that's on dist, that's on dist, 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 dist. Okay. So, Mars bin directory, yep. That's interesting. View directories. Hmm. Let's go. We hope. I think I might. I'm hoping this is right. Otherwise, I'm screwed. So that. And then we'll see. So I'm going to commit just that. Now comes the fun bit. I'm going to run a couple of builds and see what pops in and whether we've really broken everything now. So let's 
I'm going to go back a couple. Make green all. Looks to have been successful. So we now have assets. And we do have dist back and ignored. Node modules, of course, is ignored. Dist is ignored now. Wales JS. Is that not dimmed? Strange. Huh. Oh well. Looks like it's ignored anyway, so that's good. Because these files... Oh no. Uh, no, they're not in thingy, are they? I'm going to try this and see what happens. This could be a mistake. So I've just deleted the Wales JS. Nothing else there. So what does it say now in the git commit? Yeah, okay, good. Right, so we'll uncheck. And we'll get shot of that. that so that's all good my files are there right and then stuff I've just deleted okay
then. Okay, let's do. Make clean again, and then a make. Let's see what happens. Do we get a Wales JS back? We do. Good. We have one time. But no go stuff. Which is interesting. But maybe, maybe that is because I haven't done well dev yet and or that there is no go code well, there is actually to be we'll see let's do um well step see what happens oops oh <laughs> in the wrong place. Okay. Uh, GUI. Okay. Stick that over there. And now we have that go thing again. That's good. All right, sorted. So I can ignore that. It's all auto generated, auto generated, auto generated. That's basically what happens. That's the bundle effectively that goes into the binary eventually. And then we've got that's fine. Okay. Might have to delete that at some point. Okay, so I think we're good. We can commit that now and then get on with actually building it, he says. Okay. So, yep. That's all good. Um, clickable. Okay, so next thing is to transition. So we've got a welcome, and at some point we need to do something other than just throw an alert like that. I actually need to go somewhere and do something. Um, so I want to use um, a router to go to another page where we do add snippet. So I am going to use uh, and I will remember what it's called. Um, it's like Italy Pale Svelte Spa Router. There we go. Let's make sure it's still up and running. Yeah. Okay, 
you know, I've used this before um, and it's really good. Um, does everything I need, so I will be using this. Um, so... Yeah. Samples. We're going to do this. Let's close that off for a moment. Um, and we will do okay. Oops, did it in the wrong place. Oh. <laughs> Undo that. Okay, make sure Git is happy with that. I haven't done anything silly, have I? No. Weird. Right, let's do that again. Jeez. Right, let's go into the front end. There's a package, Jason. Do it in the right place. Just update that while I'm here. So that's okay. And now I've got to remember how to use it. Because there's ages since I've actually used it. Um so I need to make a router at the top level and start adding things to it, I believe. Let's go back and look at the docs. So... Yeah. Okay, we're going to just um, do the simplest solution here then. Um, and we will try and do everything without getting too complicated. Uh, so, see, I'll do a lot of and where I've been using this, I dynamically build routes and things. Um, 
we have all kinds of events going and we need to say, okay, under this condition, call this route and all this kind of stuff. But here I should be able to make it fairly simple. He says, because all we're going to be doing is clicking on things and make them go somewhere else. Um, so um, in general, I think we'll see. So let's first of all build some routes. I'll just do that. I haven't got much time actually. Maybe I should do this another time. Because I need to finish up for the day. So let's just um, put it to do in the right place. So not there. Oops, wrong thing. Okay. I want to do this in, we could do it in app. So I'll do a little to do here. Um, to do. And roots const and Router that uses it. Okay, so that gives me a, re a reminder. I think. <laughs> Hopefully, that's enough for me to uh, to remember what's what's going on. So yeah, so okay at the moment. Um, I think we're. We've got, we've got Wells Dev. We've got a little basic at the moment. And we're at the point now where when we hit this button, when there's no snippets, I want it to go to a different page rather than do this alert. So, yeah. And we're just about to do that in the next session. But gotta go. So uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching uh, and take care. Bye.